welcome to Mergenaries. This is the second part of our vector drawing series where I teach you how to draw an illustrator using only your mouse, no tablet necessary. Tablets are great, I have one, I have a Cintiq that I absolutely love, but they are by no means necessary to create great vector art. This sketch is available to download free off of our website, there is a link in the description, and uh, I encourage you to follow along. So first things first, we're going to label our sketch layer and we're going to reduce the transparency so that we can see the tracing that we're going to be drawing on top of it better. After you've done that, you can go ahead and lock your sketch layer and create a new layer and then call it Trace. Now we're going to start inking this phallic, happy little hot dog with the pen tool. Use P to switch to it. I like to put all my anchor points down, then go back and create curves with the Convert Anchor Point tool, but there are different ways of doing this and we'll be going over all of that today. Start by placing anchor points at the crest of where you're going to be making your curves. So here where the bun bends, a point should go there. After you have all your points down, switch to your Convert Anchor Point tool with Shift C. Click and hold an anchor point and drag your mouse to create the curve. You can continue your path by using the pen tool to click at the end of your path. Try not to use too many anchor points. The trick to getting smooth lines is to use as few points as possible. Now I'm not really happy with what's going on with this point up here, so I'm going to fix it. You can move your points by pressing A and using the direct selector tool, or the white cursor. You can also use it to pull on your curve's handles and change the depth of the curve on one side. If you grab a handle using the convert anchor tool, you can actually break the curve and make a sharp edge. Now for this side, I'll start up here. This time I'm going to make my curves as I place my points. Every time you place a point, hold and drag as you click to create the curve. The curve will continue into the next point. If you don't want the curve to continue, click on the anchor point and the next point you place will just make a line. At this point, we can start to get kind of creative. I don't want to join these paths. Instead, I want the lines to show that one bun is slightly in front of the other. To do this, I'll click slightly off to the side, then move my points with the direct selection tool to create the illusion of an overlap. You can also move selected anchor points by nudging them with your keyboard. Go into your preferences to change how far your keyboard nudges. So next, we'll draw the hot dog. Rather than draw the individual lines between the mustard, we're just going to draw the hot dog in one continuous path. We can delete parts of the path later on. Start at the top of the hot dog and place points where your curves will be. Come back with your Convert Anchor Point tool and create your curves by clicking and dragging the curves out. Move or delete your points as necessary and use your Direct Selection tool to change the curves until you're happy. Don't forget that it's better to have fewer anchor points than more. And don't be afraid to exaggerate the shape of your artwork. It's not supposed to be realistic, it's supposed to be fun and have impact and shape. 
So we will be making the mustard and everything, but first I'm gonna show you how to make your art look like it was drawn using a tablet. Draw the line, then go to your stroke panel. In the stroke panel, there are profiles that can change the shape of your stroke. This is a tapered line, and it mimics what would happen if you were using a tablet. When you use a tablet, the pressure from your stylus will create a tapered line naturally. I use this profile all the time in my artwork, even when I am using a tablet. There are several other profiles you can use to change your strokes, like the second profile is a tapered line that varies a little bit in the middle, uh, there is a thicker line with a shorter taper. In general, I find profiles are a fun and easy way to mess around with your stroke and to kind of give that hand-drawn effect to it. To finish off this video, we're going to use the profile on the end of a path. We're going to use the scissors tool, which is C, to cut the ends of our line. Now grab the pieces that we cut off and change the profile so it tapers out. This is something I do regularly to make a bit more of an abrupt taper. I find that if you put the taper on the entire line, sometimes parts of the line can be a little too thin. We're going to fix things like this in the next video, but I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Next time we'll be inking our happy little hot dog, and we'll move on to coloring and separating this artwork. Once again, this sketch is on our site for free download so you can follow along with me. And don't forget to subscribe for more time lapses and tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below. Thanks for watching!